Hokkien, from Chinese, Fujian Hua Pinyin, Fujian Hua, Pei, Hog, Hok Kian O, or Minan proper, Min Nan Yu Min Nan Hua is a southern Min Chinese dialect group originating from the Minan region in the southeastern part of Fujian province in southeastern China and Taiwan, and spoken widely there and by the Chinese diaspora in Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines, and other parts of Southeast Asia, and by other overseas Chinese all over the world. It is the mainstream form of Southern Min. It is closely related to Teochew, though it has limited mutual intelligibility with it, whereas it is more distantly related to other variants such as Hainanese and Lejo dialect. Hokkien historically served as the lingua franca amongst overseas Chinese communities of all dialects and subgroups in Southeast Asia, and remains today as the most spoken variety of Chinese in the region, including in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, and some parts of Indochina, particularly Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. The Batawi Malay language, spoken by some 5 million people in and around the Indonesian capital Jakarta, includes numerous Hokkien loanwords due to the significant influence of the Chinese Indonesian diaspora diaspora, most of whom are of Hokkien ancestry and origin. Names Chinese speakers of the Chenjiang variety of Southern Min refer to the mainstream Southern Min language as Ban Lam Gu, Ban Lam O, Min Nan Yu Min Nan Hua Min Nan Yu Min Nan Hua literally language or speech of Southern Emin in mainland China and Taiwan. Tai Gi, Tai Yu literally, Taiwanese language in Taiwan. Hok Kian O, Fujian Hua Fujian Hua literally Fujian speech in Burma, Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia. Lan Lang O, Zan Nong Hua literally our people's language in the Philippines, in parts of Southeast Asia and in the English-speaking communities, the term Hokkien, Kin is etymologically derived from the Southern Min pronunciation for Fujian Chinese, Fujian Pinyin, Fujian, Pei, Hog, Hok Kian, the province from which the language hails. In Southeast Asia and the English press, Hokkien is used in common parlance to refer to the Southern Min dialects of Southern Fujian, and does not include reference to dialects of other Sinitic branches also present in Fujian such as Eastern Min or Hakka. In Chinese linguistics, these dialects are known by their classification under the Chenjiang division Chinese, Quan Zhang Pian Pinyin, Chenjiang Pian of Min Nan, which comes from the first characters of the two main Hokkien urban centers of Chenzhou and Zhangzhou. Geographic distribution Hokkien originated in the southern area of Fujian province, an important center for trade and migration, and has since become one of the most common Chinese varieties overseas. The major pole of Hokkien varieties outside of Fujian is Taiwan, where, during the 200 years of Qing dynasty rule, thousands of immigrants from Fujian arrived yearly. The Taiwanese dialect mostly has origins with the Chenzhou and Zhangzhou variants, but since then, the Amoy dialect, also known as the Xiamen dialect, is becoming the modern prestige standard for the language in mainland China. Both Amoy and Xiamen come from the Chinese name of the city simplified Chinese, Xiamen traditional Chinese, Xiamen pinyin, Xiamen, Pei, Hog, E Mui, the former is from Zhangzhou Hokkien, whereas the later comes from Mandarin. There are many Minan speakers among overseas Chinese in Southeast Asia as well as in the United States Hoklo Americans. Many ethnic Han Chinese emigrants to the region were Hoklo from southern Fujian, and brought the language to what is now Burma Myanmar, Indonesia the former Dutch East Indies and present-day Malaysia and Singapore, formerly Malaya and the British Straits settlements. Many of the Minan dialects of this region are highly similar to Xiamen dialect Amoy and Taiwanese Hokkien with the exception of foreign loanwords. Hokkien is reportedly the native language of up to 80% of the Chinese people in the Philippines, among which is known locally as Lan Nong or Lan Lang O, our people's language. Hokkien speakers form the largest group of overseas Chinese in Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia and Philippines. Classification Southern Fujian is home to three principal Minan proper Hokkien dialects, Chinchu, Amoy, Changchu, originating from the cities of Chenzhou, Xiamen and Zhangzhou respectively. Traditionally speaking, Chenzhou dialect spoken in Chenzhou is the traditional standard Minan, it is the dialect that is used in Liyuan opera Liyuan Shi and Nanying music. 
Nanya being the traditional standard Minan, Chenzhou dialect is considered to have the purest accent and the most conservative Minan dialect. In the late 18th to the early 19th century, Shaman Amoy became the principal city of southern Fujian. Shaman Amoy dialect is adopted as the modern standard Minan. It is a hybrid of the Chenzhou and Zhangzhou dialects. It has played an influential role in history, especially in the relations of Western nations with China, and was one of the most frequently learnt dialect of Chenzhong variety by Westerners during the second half of the 19th century and the early 20th century. Same as Amoy dialect, the modern standard form of Chenzhong accent spoken around the city of Tainan in Taiwan is a hybrid of the Chenzhou and Zhangzhou dialects. All Chenzhong dialects spoken throughout the whole of Taiwan are collectively known as Taiwanese Hokkien or just Taiwanese. Used by a majority of the population, it bears much importance from a socio-political perspective, forming the second and perhaps today most significant major pole of the language due to the popularity of Taiwanese language media. Topic: <laughs> Southeast Asia The varieties of Hokkien in Southeast Asia originate from these dialects. The Singaporeans, Southern Malaysians and people in Indonesia's Riau and surrounding islands variant is from the Chenzhou area. They speak a distinct form of Chenzhou Hokkien called Southern Peninsular Malaysian Hokkien among ethnic Chinese inhabitants of Penang, and other states in northern Malaysia and Maidan, with other areas in North Sumatra, Indonesia, a distinct form of Zhangzhou Hokkien has developed. In Penang, it is called Penang Hokkien while across the Malacca Strait in Maidan, an almost identical variant is known as Maidan Hokkien. The Philippines variant is mostly from Chenzhou or Amoy Shaman, as most of their ancestors are from the aforementioned area. History Variants of Hokkien dialects can be traced to two sources of origin, Chenzhou and Zhangzhou. Both Amoy and most Taiwanese are based on a mixture of Chenzhou and Zhangzhou dialects, while the rest of the Hokkien dialects spoken in Southeast Asia are either derived from Chenzhou and Zhangzhou, or based on a mixture of both dialects. Chenzhou. During the Three Kingdoms period of ancient China, there was constant warfare occurring in the central plain of China. Northerners began to enter into Fujian region, causing the region to incorporate parts of northern Chinese dialects. However, the massive migration of northern Han Chinese into Fujian region mainly occurred after the disaster of Yangzhou. The Jin court fled from the north to the south, causing large numbers of northern Han Chinese to move into Fujian region. They brought the Old Chinese spoken in the central plain of China from the prehistoric era to the 3rd century into Fujian. This then gradually evolved into the Chenzhou dialect. Zhangzhou In 677, during the reign of Emperor Gaozong, Chen Zheng, together with his son Chen Yuanguang, led a military expedition to suppress a rebellion of the Xi people. In 885, during the reign of Emperor Zizong of Tang, the two brothers Wang Chao and Wang Shenji, led a military expedition force to suppress the Huang Chao rebellion. These two waves of migration from the north brought the language of northern Middle Chinese into the Fujian region. This then gradually evolved into the Zhangzhou dialect. Shaman Amoy dialect is the main dialect spoken in the Chinese city of Xiamen and its surrounding regions of Tang'an and Shang'an, both of which are now included in the Greater Xiamen area. This dialect developed in the late Ming dynasty when Xiamen was increasingly taking over Chenzhou's position as the main port of trade in southeastern China. Chenzhou traders began traveling southwards to Xiamen to carry on their businesses while Zhangzhou peasants began traveling northwards to Xiamen in search of job opportunities. A need for a common language arose. The Chenzhou and Zhangzhou varieties are similar in many ways as can be seen from the common place of Henan Luoyang where they originated, but due to differences in accents, communication can be a problem. Chenzhou businessmen considered their speech to be the prestige accent and considered Zhangzhou's to be a village dialect. Over the centuries, dialect leveling occurred and the two speeches mixed to produce the Amoy dialect. Early sources 
Several play scripts survive from the late 16th century, written in a mixture of Chenzhou and Chaozhou dialects. The most important is the Romance of the Lychee Mirror, with extant manuscripts dating from 1566 and 1581. In the early 17th century, Spanish missionaries in the Philippines produced materials documenting the Hokkien varieties spoken by the Chinese trading community who had settled there in the late 16th century. Dictionarium Sino Hispanicum, a Spanish Hokkien dictionary, giving equivalent words, but not definitions. Doctrina Cristiana en Letra y Lengua China, 1607, a Hokkien translation of the Doctrina Cristiana. Vocabulario de la Lengua Sanglia, c. 1617, a Spanish Hokkien dictionary, with definitions. Arte de la Lengua Chio Chu, 1620, a grammar written by a Spanish missionary in the Philippines. These texts appear to record a Zhangzhou dialect, from the area of Haicheng, an old port that is now part of Longhai. Chinese scholars produced rhyme dictionaries describing Hokkien varieties at the beginning of the 19th century. Wei Yin Miao, Wei Yin Miao, understanding of the collected sounds was written around 1800 by Huang Qian, Huang Qian and describes the Chenzhou dialect. The oldest extant edition dates from 1831. Hu Ji Yasu Tong Shi Wu Yin, Wu Yin, compilation of the 15 elegant and vulgar sounds, by Xie Shulan, Xie Lan describes the Zhangzhou dialect. The oldest extant edition dates from 1818. Walter Henry Medhurst based his 1832 dictionary on the latter work. Topic: <laughs> Phonology. Hokkien has one of the most diverse phoneme inventories among Chinese varieties, with more consonants than standard Mandarin, Cantonese and Shanghainese. Vowels are more or less similar to that of standard Mandarin. Hokkien varieties retain many pronunciations that are no longer found in other Chinese varieties. These include the retention of the t initial, which is now t, pinyin zh in Mandarin e.g. bamboo zu is tick, but zu in Mandarin, having disappeared before the 6th century in other Chinese varieties. Initials Southern min has aspirated, unaspirated as well as voiced consonant initials. For example, the word kui open, and kui to the power of n close have the same vowel but differ only by aspiration of the initial and nasality of the vowel in addition southern min has labial initial consonants such as m in m c is not another example is da po ki a acute to the power of n cha bu boy and cha bo acute ki a acute to the power of n cha mo girl which differ in the second syllable in consonant voicing and in tone Topic. Finals Unlike Mandarin, Hokkien retains all the final consonants corresponding to those of Middle Chinese. While Mandarin only preserves the N and finals, Southern Min also preserves the M, P, T and K finals and developed the glottal stop. Topic. Vowels The vowels of Hokkien are I, Y, U, E, O, A. The following table illustrates some of the more commonly seen vowel shifts. Characters with the same vowel are shown in parentheses. Topic: <tones>, Tones. In general, Hokkien dialects have five to seven phonemic tones. According to the traditional Chinese system, however, there are seven to nine tones if the two additional entering tones see the discussion on Chinese tone. Tone sandy is extensive. There are minor variations between the Chenzhou and Zhangzhou tone systems. Taiwanese tones follow the patterns of Amoy or Chenzhou, depending on the area of Taiwan. Many dialects have an additional phonemic tone. Tone 9, according to the traditional reckoning, used only in special or foreign loan words. Topic. Comparison The Amoy dialect is a hybrid of the Chenzhou and Zhangzhou dialects. Taiwanese is also a hybrid of these two dialects. Taiwanese in northern and coastal Taiwan tends to be based on the Chenzhou variety, whereas the Taiwanese spoken in central, south and inland Taiwan tends to be based on Zhangzhou speech. 
There are minor variations in pronunciation and vocabulary between Chenzhou and Zhangzhou dialects. The grammar is generally the same. Additionally, extensive contact with the Japanese language has left a legacy of Japanese loanwords in Taiwanese Hokkien. On the other hand, the variants spoken in Singapore and Malaysia have a substantial number of loanwords from Malay and to a lesser extent, from English and other Chinese varieties, such as the closely related Teochew and some Cantonese. Penang Hokkien and Maidan Hokkien are based on Zhangzhou dialect, whereas southern peninsular Malaysian Hokkien is based on Chenzhou dialect. Topic. Mutual intelligibility The Chenzhou dialect, Xiamen dialect, Zhangzhou dialect and Taiwanese are generally mutually intelligible. The overseas varieties such as Penang Hokkien and Singaporean Hokkien are slightly less intelligible to speakers of mainland Min Nan and Taiwanese dialects due to the existence of foreign loanwords. The Min Nan varieties of Teochew and Amoy are 84% phonetically similar, and 34% lexically similar, whereas Mandarin and Amoy Min Nan are 62% phonetically similar and 15% lexically similar. In comparison, German and English are 60% lexically similar. Hainanese, which is sometimes considered Southern Min, has almost no mutual intelligibility with any form of Hokkien. Grammar Hokkien is an analytic language, in a sentence, the arrangement of words is important to its meaning. A basic sentence follows the subject-verb-object pattern i.e. a subject is followed by a verb then by an object, though this order is often violated because Hokkien dialects are topic prominent. Unlike synthetic languages, seldom do words indicate time, gender and plural by inflection. Instead, these concepts are expressed through adverbs, aspect markers, and grammatical particles, or are deduced from the context. Different particles are added to a sentence to further specify its status or intonation. A verb itself indicates no grammatical tense. The time can be explicitly shown with time indicating adverbs. Certain exceptions exist, however, according to the pragmatic interpretation of a verb's meaning. Additionally, an optional aspect particle can be appended to a verb to indicate the state of an action. Appending interrogative or exclamative particles to a sentence turns a statement into a question or shows the attitudes of the speaker. Hokkien dialects preserve certain grammatical reflexes and patterns reminiscent of the broad stage of archaic Chinese. This includes the serialization of verb phrases direct linkage of verbs and verb phrases and the infrequency of nominalization, both similar to archaic Chinese grammar. Ni li ku ki mai bei yu yu biao zi piao wu bo you go by have watch no gloss. Did you go to buy a watch? Choice of grammatical function words also varies significantly among the Hokkien dialects. For instance, qi khit denoting the causative, passive or dative is retained in Jinjiang also unique to the Jinjiang dialect as do though and in Jiyang, but not in Longxi and Xiamen, whose dialects use hu, hu instead. Topic. Pronouns. Hokkien dialects differ in their preferred choice of pronouns. For instance, while the second person pronoun li ni is standard in Taiwanese Hokkien, the Teochew loanword lu ru is more common among Hokkien-speaking communities in Southeast Asia. The plural personal pronouns tend to be nasalized forms of the singular ones. Personal pronouns found in the Hokkien dialects are listed below. 1 inclusive 2 exclusive Three nong lang is typically suffixed in Southeast Asian Hokkien dialects. Possessive pronouns are marked by the particle e, de, or its literary version kai. Plural pronouns are typically unmarked. The nasalized final serves as the possessive indicator. Ruan gon weng ang xing se grave to the power of n. Shane Tan. My husband's surname is Tan. Reflexive pronouns are made by appending the pronouns ka ki, ka ti, jia ji, or chu ki. Z Hokkien dialects use a variety of differing demonstrative pronouns, which are as follows. This J J G chit e. J G G G that he shu bai hit e. Bai gi here chia J hia hia J sha chit tao J do. There hia shu sha hit tao bai do. The interrogative pronouns are. What C A acute to the power of N M I H sha wu sim mi H. 
Shenmi Wen, T C, D Shi Ki C, G Shi Tang C, Dang Shi Sim Mi, H C Chun. Shen Mi Shi Jen Where, To Lo, H, Dao Luo Tu Ui. Tuo Wei Dao Wei Hu, Ca Acute to the Power of N Lang, Sha Ren or Ca Acute to the Power of N. Sha Wai Ui Ca Acute to the Power of N M I H, Wei Sha Wu Ui Sim Mi, H, Wei Shen Mi N Chua to the Power of N, and Zen Ka. Hei Hao and Chua to the power of N and Zen Lu Ho Ru Hei Chua to the power of N I to the power of N Zen Yang topic. Copula. To be. States and qualities are generally expressed using stative verbs that do not require the verb to be. Wo Goa Fudu Pak Tio Acute Shao Yao. I am hungry. Lit. I stomach hungry with noun complements, the verb si she serves as the verb to be. Zuo hun cha hng she si ba yu ga peh go h a. Yesterday was the mid autumn festival. To indicate location, the words ti zu ti am, di an teh, le, li, which are collectively known as the locatives or sometimes coverbs in Chinese linguistics, are used to express to be at. Wo goa dian tiam j chia deng tan ni li. I am here waiting for you. Yi i j ma chit ma zu ti kuo chu li 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 teh kun kun. He's sleeping at home now. Topic negation. Hokkien dialects have a variety of negation particles that are prefixed or affixed to the verbs they modify. There are five primary negation particles in Hokkien dialects M Wu M Wu B, Bo Mei Wei Mai Mo Wu Bo Wu Put Bu Literary other negative particles include Biao Bao a contraction of Bo Yao, Wu Yao as in Biao Kin Bao Jin Bang Ben Bian Mian Tai Tai the particles M, Wu M Wu as general and can negate almost any verb Yi I Wu M Ba Bat Z G. He cannot read. Lit. He not know word. The particle Mai Mo Wu a concatenation of M I Wu I is used to negate imperative commands. Mo Mai Zhang Kong. Don't speak. The particle Bo Wu indicates the past tense. Yi I Wu Bo Shi Chia H. He did not eat. The verb to have Yu Yu is replaced by Bo Wu when negated, not Wu Yu. Yi I Wu Bo Qian Chi circumflex to the power of N. He does not have any money. The particle put Bu is used infrequently, mostly found in literary compounds and phrases. Yi I Gen Qin Bu Shao Put Hao. He is truly unfilial. Topic <laughs> Vocabulary. The majority of Hokkien vocabulary is monosyllabic. Many Hokkien words have cognates in other Chinese varieties. That said, there are also many indigenous words that are unique to Hokkien and are potentially not of Sino-Tibetan origin, while others are shared by all the Min dialects e.g. kanji is mimi, bo, bi, not zhou zhou, as in other dialects. As compared to standard Chinese Mandarin, Hokkien dialects prefer to use the monosyllabic form of words, without suffixes. For instance, the Mandarin noun suffix z, z is not found in Hokkien words, while another noun suffix z a is used in many nouns. Examples are below Duck ya -a or ya -zi -a -a -sc, ya -zi -ya -zi. Color say -s -e -k -s -c, yan -say -yan -say. In other bisyllabic morphemes, the syllables are inverted, as compared to standard Chinese. Examples include the following Guest Ren K Lang K H E H S C K Ren Curran. In other cases, the same word can have different meanings in Hokkien and standard written Chinese. Similarly, depending on the region Hokkien is spoken in, loanwords from local languages Malay, Tagalog, Burmese, among others, as well as other Chinese dialects such as Southern Chinese dialects like Cantonese and Teochew, are commonly integrated into the vocabulary of Hokkien dialects. Topic. Literary and colloquial readings 
The existence of literary and colloquial readings is a prominent feature of some Hokkien dialects and indeed in many Sinitic varieties in the South. The bulk of literary readings, Wen Du Bun Di K, based on pronunciations of the vernacular during the Tang dynasty, are mainly used in formal phrases and written language, e.g., philosophical concepts, surnames, and some place names, while the colloquial or vernacular ones, Bai Du Pei H Di K, are basically used in spoken language and vulgar phrases. Literary readings are more similar to the pronunciations of the Tang standard of Middle Chinese than their colloquial equivalents. However, some dialects of Hokkien, such as Penang Hokkien as well as Philippine Hokkien overwhelmingly favor colloquial readings. For example, in both Penang Hokkien and Philippine Hokkien, the characters for university, da shui are pronounced toa o, h colloquial readings for both characters, instead of the literary reading tai ha, k, which is common in Taiwanese and mainland Chinese dialects. The pronounced divergence between literary and colloquial pronunciations found in Hokkien dialects is attributed to the presence of several strata in the Min lexicon. The earliest, colloquial stratum is traced to the Han dynasty 206 BCE to 220 CE. The second colloquial one comes from the period of the Southern and Northern dynasties 420-589 CE. The third stratum of pronunciations typically literary ones comes from the Tang dynasty 618 to 907 CE and is based on the prestige dialect of Chang'an modern-day Xi'an, its capital. Some commonly seen sound correspondences colloquial literary are as follows p p p h h c h c h h t s t s t t s s k k h k k c h t t to the power of n a u a n n h t t i i e e e e a a Ia, Ia, I, I. This table displays some widely used characters in Hokkien that have both literary and colloquial readings. This feature extends to Chinese numerals, which have both literary and colloquial readings. Literary readings are typically used when the numerals are read out loud, e.g., phone numbers, while colloquial readings are used for counting items. Topic: <laughs> Semantic differences between Hokkien and Mandarin. Quite a few words from the variety of Old Chinese spoken in the state of Wu, where the ancestral language of Min and Wu dialect families originated, and later words from Middle Chinese as well, have retained the original meanings in Hokkien, while many of their counterparts in Mandarin Chinese have either fallen out of daily use, have been substituted with other words some of which are borrowed from other languages while others are new developments, or have developed newer meanings. The same may be said of Hokkien as well, since some lexical meaning evolved in step with Mandarin while others are wholly innovative developments. This table shows some Hokkien dialect words from classical Chinese, as contrasted to the written Chinese standard, Mandarin. For other words, the classical Chinese meanings of certain words, which are retained in Hokkien dialects, have evolved or deviated significantly in other Chinese dialects. The following table shows some words that are both used in both Hokkien dialects and Mandarin Chinese, while the meanings in Mandarin Chinese have been modified. Topic. Words from Minyu Some commonly used words, shared by all Min Chinese dialects, came from the ancient Minyu languages. Jerry Norman suggested that these languages were Austroasiatic. Some terms are thought be cognates with words in Thai Kadai and Austronesian languages. They include the following examples, compared to the Fuzhou dialect, a Min Dong language. Topic. Loanwords Loanwords are not unusual among Hokkien dialects, as speakers readily adopted indigenous terms of the languages they came in contact with. As a result, there is a plethora of loanwords that are not mutually comprehensible among Hokkien dialects. Taiwanese Hokkien, as a result of linguistic contact with Japanese and Formosan languages, contains many loanwords from these languages. Many words have also been formed as calques from Mandarin, and speakers will often directly use Mandarin vocabulary through code switching. Among these include the following examples: Toilet PNSO acute Bian Suo from Japanese Benjo. Bian Suo Other Hokkien Variants, Shi K Sai Ha, K, Si Suo Chek S O Acute Kar Chu Tong Chia Zidong Che from Japanese Jidosha 
Zidong Che other Hokkien variants, Feng Che Hong Chia, Chi Che Ki Chia To admire Kam Sim Gan Shin from Japanese Kanshin Gan Shin other Hokkien variants, Gan Dong Kam Tong Fruit Kui Ke, Kui Koa, Kui Ker Shui Guo from Mandarin, Shui Guo Shui Guo other Hokkien variants, Guo Zi K Kai, Koa Kai, Ker Kai Singaporean Hokkien, Penang Hokkien and other Malaysian Hokkien dialects tend to draw loanwords from Malay, English as well as other Chinese dialects, primarily Teochew. Examples include But Tapi, from Malay Other Hokkien variants, Dan Shi Tan S Doctor, Lao Jun Lu Gun, from Malay Dukan Other Hokkien variants, Yi Sheng I Sing Stone, rock batu, from Malay batu Other Hokkien variants, Shi Tu Tsio Tao Market Ba Sha Pa Sat, from Malay Pasar from Persian Bazaar Bazaar Other Hokkien variants, Shi Chong Chi Tu Circumflex to the power of N They Yi Nong I Lang from Teochew I One Nong Five Other Hokkien variants, In Together Zuo Hu Cho Bu from Teochew Zuo Hu Jo Three Bu Five other Hokkien variants, Zuo Huo Cho Ho, Tong Chi Tang Che or Do Jen Tao Tin Cha Gu Sap Bun from Malay Sabun from Arabic Sabun, Sabon Philippine Hokkien dialects, as a result of centuries-old contact with both Philippine language and Spanish also incorporate words from these languages. Examples include Cup Ba Su, from Spanish Vaso and Tagalog Baso Other Hokkien variants, Bay Z Poa Office Opai Sin, from Spanish Oficina and Tagalog Opacina Other Hokkien variants, Ban Gong Shi Pan Kong Sek Soap Sa Bun, from Spanish Jaban and Tagalog Saban Other Hokkien variants But Ka So, from Tagalog Kaso Other Hokkien variants, Dan Shi Tan Si M Ko Topic. Standard Hokkien Hokkien originated from Chenzhou. After the Opium War in 1842, Xiamen became one of the major treaty ports to be open for trade with the outside world. From the mid-19th century onwards, Xiamen slowly developed to become the political and economical center of the Hokkien-speaking region in China. This caused Amoy dialect to gradually replace the position of dialect variants from Chenzhou and Zhangzhou. From the mid-19th century until the end of World War II, Western diplomats usually learned Amoy as the preferred dialect if they were to communicate with the Hokkien-speaking populace in China or Southeast Asia. In the 1940s and 1950s, Taiwan also held Amoy Minan as its standard and tended to incline towards Amoy dialect. However, from the 1980s onwards, the development of Taiwanese Min Nan pop music and media industry in Taiwan caused the Hokkien cultural hub to shift from Xiamen to Taiwan. The flourishing Taiwanese Min Nan entertainment and media industry from Taiwan in the 1990s and early 21st century led Taiwan to emerge as the new significant cultural hub for Hokkien. In the 1990s, marked by the liberalization of language development and mother tongue movement in Taiwan, Taiwanese Hokkien had undergone a fast pace in its development. In 1993, Taiwan became the first region in the world to implement the teaching of Taiwanese Hokkien in Taiwanese schools. In 2001, the local Taiwanese language program was further extended to all schools in Taiwan, and Taiwanese Hokkien became one of the compulsory local Taiwanese languages to be learned in schools. The mother tongue movement in Taiwan even influenced Xiamen Amoy to the point that in 2010, Xiamen also began to implement the teaching of Hokkien dialect in its schools. In 2007, the Ministry of Education in Taiwan also completed the standardization of Chinese characters used for writing Hokkien and developed Tai Lo as the standard Hokkien pronunciation and romanization guide. A number of universities in Taiwan also offer Taiwanese degree courses for training Hokkien fluent talents to work for the Hokkien media industry and education. Taiwan also has its own Hokkien literary and cultural circles whereby Hokkien poets and writers compose poetry or literature in Hokkien. Thus by the 21st century, Taiwan is one of the most significant Hokkien cultural hubs of the world. The historical changes and development in Taiwan had led Taiwanese Hokkien to become the more influential pole of the Hokkien dialect after the mid-20th century. 
Today, Taiwanese prestige dialect which is based on Tainan variant and heard on Taiwanese hockey and media. Writing systems Chinese script Hokkien dialects are typically written using Chinese characters, han zi han ji. However, the written script was and remains adapted to the literary form, which is based on classical Chinese, not the vernacular and spoken form. Furthermore, the character inventory used for Mandarin standard written Chinese does not correspond to Hokkien words, and there are a large number of informal characters, tz the g or tho g, substitute characters which are unique to Hokkien as is the case with Cantonese. For instance, about 20-25% of Taiwanese morphemes lack an appropriate or standard Chinese character, while most Hokkien morphemes have standard designated characters, they are not always etymological or phonosemantic. Similar sounding, similar meaning or rare characters are commonly borrowed or substituted to represent a particular morpheme. Examples include beautiful. Mei Bai is the literary form, whose vernacular morpheme sway is represented by characters like Tuo an obsolete character, way of vernacular reading of this character and even Shui transliteration of the sound sway, or Tal. Gao Ko is the literary form, whose morpheme koan is Zan. Common grammatical particles are not exempt, the negation particle M, not is variously represented by Wu, M or Wu, among others. In other cases, characters are invented to represent a particular morpheme a common example is the character, in, which represents the personal pronoun, they. In addition, some characters have multiple and unrelated pronunciations, adapted to represent Hokkien words. For example, the Hokkien word ba, meat, has been reduced to the character ru, which has etymologically unrelated colloquial and literary readings he, k and geo, k, respectively. Another case is the word to eat, chia, h, which is often transcribed in Taiwanese newspapers and media as ga a Mandarin transliteration, sha, to approximate the Hokkien term, even though its recommended character in dictionaries is shi. Moreover, unlike Cantonese, Hokkien does not have a universally accepted standardized character set. Thus, there is some variation in the characters used to express certain words and characters can be ambiguous in meaning. In 2007, the Ministry of Education of the Republic of China formulated and released a standard character set to overcome these difficulties. These standard Chinese characters for writing Taiwanese Hokkien are now taught in schools in Taiwan. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Latin script. Hokkien, especially Taiwanese Hokkien, is sometimes written in the Latin script using one of several alphabets. Of these the most popular is POJ, developed first by Presbyterian missionaries in China and later by the indigenous Presbyterian Church in Taiwan. Use of this script and orthography has been actively promoted since the late 19th century. The use of a mixed script of Han characters and Latin letters is also seen, though remains uncommon. Other Latin-based alphabets also exist. Min Nan texts, all Hokkien, can be dated back to the 16th century. One example is the Doctrina Christiana en Letra y Lengua China, presumably written after 1587 by the Spanish Dominicans in the Philippines. Another is a Ming Dynasty script of a play called Tale of the Lychee Mirror 1566, supposedly the earliest southern Min colloquial text, although it is written in Teochew dialect. Taiwan has developed a Latin alphabet for Taiwanese Hokkien, derived from POJ, known as Tai Lo. Since 2006, it has been officially promoted by Taiwan's Ministry of Education and taught in Taiwanese schools. Xiamen University has also developed an alphabet based on pinyin called Bibanlam Pinyin. Topic: <laughs> Computing. Hokkien is registered as Southern Min. Per RFC 3066 as ZH Min Nan, when writing Hokkien in Chinese characters, some writers create new characters when they consider it impossible to use directly or borrow existing ones. This corresponds to similar practices in character usage in Cantonese, Vietnamese Chu Nam, Korean Hanja, and Japanese Kanji. Some of these are not encoded in Unicode or the corresponding ISO, IEC 10646, universal character set, thus creating problems in computer processing. All Latin characters required by Pei, 
HOG can be represented using Unicode or the corresponding ISO IEC 10646 universal character set using precomposed or combining diacritics characters. Prior to June 2004, the vowel akin to but more open than O, written with a dot above right, was not encoded. The usual workaround was to use the standalone spacing character interpunct U plus OOB7, or less commonly the combining character dot above U plus O307. As these are far from ideal, since 1997 proposals have been submitted to the ISO IEC working group in charge of ISO IEC 10646 namely, ISO, IEC JTC1, SC2, WG2, to encode a new combining character dot above right. This is now officially assigned to U plus 0358 see documents N1593, N2507, N2628, N2699, and N2713. Font support is expected to follow. Cultural and political role Hokkien or Min Nan can trace its roots through the Tang dynasty and also even further to the people of the Baiyui, the indigenous non-Han people of modern-day southern China. Min Nan Hokkien people call themselves Tang people Tang Ren Tian, Ji Lang, which is synonymous to Chinese people. Because of the widespread influence of the Tang culture during the Great Tang Dynasty, there are today still many Min Nan pronunciations of words shared by the Vietnamese, Korean and Japanese languages. In 2002, the Taiwan Solidarity Union, a party with about 10% of the legislative yuan seats at the time, suggested making Taiwanese a second official language. This proposal encountered strong opposition not only from mainlander groups but also from Hakka and Taiwanese Aboriginal groups who felt that it would slight their home languages, as well as others including Hoklo who objected to the proposal on logistical grounds and on the grounds that it would increase ethnic tensions. Because of these objections, support for this measure was lukewarm among moderate Taiwan independence supporters, and the proposal did not pass. See also Penang Hokkien, Taiwanese Hokkien, Maidan Hokkien, Singaporean Hokkien, Amoy dialect, Lan Nong, Philippine dialect of Hokkien, Teochew dialect, Languages of China, Languages of Taiwan, Amoy Min Nan Swadesh list Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Further reading Branner, David Prager 2000. Problems in Comparative Chinese Dialectology — The Classification of Mean and Hakka. Trends in Linguistics Series, No. 123. Berlin, Mouton de Gruder. ISBN 3-11-015831-0 Chung, R. F. The Segmental Phonology of Southern Min in Taiwan. Taipei, Crane Pub. Co. ISBN 957-9463-46-8. DiBernardi, Jean Linguistic Nationalism, The Case of Southern Min. Sino-Platonic Papers. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania, 25. OCLC 24810816. Ding, Pika Sizi 2016. Southern Min Hokkien as a Migrating Language. Springer. ISBN 978-981-287-593-8. Francis, Norbert 2014. Southern Min Hokkien as a Migrating Language, a Comparative Study of Language Shift and Maintenance Across National Borders by Pika Sizi Ding Review. China Review International. 21 128–133. doi.10.1353, Cree.2014.0008. Clotter, Henning the Language of the Sanglis, a Chinese Vernacular in Missionary Sources of the 17th Century. Brill. ISBN 978-90-04-18493-0.
An analysis and facsimile of the Arte de la Lengua Chio Chu, the oldest extant grammar of Hokkien. External links Lizzie G. Lee G. G. Lichi Mirror Tale. A playscript from the late 16th century. Doctrina Christiana. Manila, 1607. Hokkien translation of the Doctrina Christiana. Arte de la Lengua Chio Chu. Manila, 1620. A manual for learning Hokkien written by a Spanish missionary in the Philippines. Huji Ya Su Tong Shi Wu Yin Wei Ji Ya Su Tong Shi Wu Yin Compilation of the Fifteen Elegant and Vulgar Sounds, 1818. The oldest known rhyme dictionary of a Zhangzhou dialect. Douglas, Carstairs 1899. Chinese English Dictionary of the Vernacular or Spoken Language of Amoy. London, Presbyterian Church of England. Medhurst, Walter Henry 1832. A Dictionary of the Hok Keen Dialect of the Chinese Language, According to the Reading and Colloquial Idioms. Macau, C.J. Stain Dang Dai Quan Zhou Yin Zi Wei A Dictionary of Chenzhou Speech Voyager, Spacecraft, Golden Record, Greetings from Earth, Amoy, includes translation and sound clip. The Voyager clip says, Tai Kong Peng Yu, Lin Ho. Lin Chia, H Pa B. Yu Eng, to H Lai Gun Chia Cheo Circumflex. Tai Kong Pen Yu Nen Hao Nen Shi Bao Wei Yu Xian J Lai Ruan J Zuo O. Oh.